Blessings, beloved. This is your favorite prophet in the whole wide world, Prophet Graham Williams. Question that I want to answer. Prophet, how do you... Video is going to be long, five minutes. How do you deal with a situation if you work with a colleague, you live with your parents, you stay on the same premises with your parents, with your cousins, or with anyone? You are forced, basically... To live with someone and to be in contact with someone every single day of your life because of work, because of where you live, because of where you stay, because of where you go to school or study or whatever, or they are a very close friend and a very close family member who also you love very much. And believe it or not, sometimes it is the people's parents, their mother, their father. Uh, it's a crazy world we live in, beloved. I'm going to make sense now. If these people are the ones that are fighting you with witchcraft, consulting Sangomas and witches and all these people, don't care what they call, they are all evil. No matter what they say, if the people that are in close contact with you, people that you love, people that you are forced to live with, work with or study with, every single day you are forced to be in contact with them, how do you deal with the fact that they are the ones fighting you? You've been through deliverance. There's been interrogation. This evil spirit has confessed and mentioned the name of the person. And you have had repetitive dreams about this particular person where God is showing you. They are feeding you, giving you food, water, or cool drink in the dream. They are chasing you, hitting you, stabbing you, shooting, whatever it may be. And the Lord has witnessed and you have seen them behaving funny and... and, and doing all sorts of things physically around your life, spiritually, in your dreams and all this, you just know for a fact and you have confirmed that they are the ones fighting you, but they're living with you, they are close to you. What do you do? Beloved, first of all, when you are in contact with these people, you need to be filled with the Word of God. You need to meditate continuously on the Word of God within your heart when you are physically in contact with them. Why do you need to do this? Because meditation brings separation where you move out of the fleshly realm and into the realm of the Spirit and get into contact with the Holy Spirit of God that will then cover you, seal you, protect you against those demons, those spirits of witchcraft that is with them, that is attached to them, whether it be in the form of witchcraft powder or whatever they are carrying on them, that is a contact point or a representation of this things this witchcraft that they are fighting you with so you meditate in your heart as you encounter them because you know their smiles are fake you know their touches are fake you know their love and their greet greetings and affection is fake and you just show them love you meditate on the word of god continuously as you interact with them you pray in your heart you meditate on the word you pray in your heart number one meditate on the word number two pray in your heart then second, thirdly, you show genuine godly love towards them. You genuinely love them. Tell them I love you. I appreciate you. Mm, very important because love conquers all. My time is running out. And then fourthly, also, don't be unaware of Satan's devices. Even though you show them genuine love, you pray in your heart. In your heart, you meditate on the word of God. You are also aware of what they are busy with and you are constantly binding those spirits, binding these powers, praying in your heart, casting the fire of the Holy Ghost on them. Listen to me. You must fill your word, your heart with the word of God so you can meditate and pray the word. Call fire against and upon those demons as you are interacting with them. So you constantly need to stay connected to the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you are being blessed by this. And when you speak with your mouth to them, make sure that you don't only speak with your physical mouth, but speak with your spiritual mouth. Speak with your spiritual mouth. Speak from your heart in the name of Jesus, because they are fighting you spiritually. Physically, they pretend, but spiritually, they are fighting you. So physically, you can smile with them, but in the spirit realm, you can be binding them, binding those demons, using them. So this is a battle, but you and Jesus together will stop them and you are more than them.
five minutes I've reached now. I love you so much. I hope this helps you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.